Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of A Piece of New York. Today, we've come to my favorite Chinese restaurant in all of New York City, and I could not be more excited. Shanghai Yu Garden, right here in Flushing, Queens. Just steps away from Main Street and then a short walk for off the 7 line. Now, this place is actually named after the Yu Garden that is in Shanghai. At that Yu Garden in China, there's a restaurant called Nan Xiao, which is very famous for their soup dumplings. If you decide to dine in and you get an order over $10, you get an order of the soup dumplings, or you can get an order of the Peking duck, which you can see, they're all right there in the window. Now, this place is known for their amazing dim sum, their awesome chef's menu. So let's go inside, check it out, and see what they're all about. So when I was walking here, I was wondering, what is this first impression going to be like for me? Because I've been coming here for years. This is going to be more like a 20th impression for me instead of a first impression. Today, not the case. They just opened up this new section, new seating. They've expanded the restaurant two months ago. It is beautiful here on the inside. I mean, it was always a great atmosphere when we did come here, but now they've definitely classed it up. It's a nice environment. It was a pleasant surprise to come in here. We got a lot of food coming today and I couldn't be more excited to show you all my favorite Chinese restaurant in all of New York City. We had to get a lot of food today, folks. We have the Chinese fried dough, the Yo Tiao. We also got the pan fried pork bun. We got Shanghai Xiao Mai, the one piece duck. We got the promotional pork soup dumplings, wonton soup. And then we have the rice cakes with shredded pork. Every time I come to Flushing, this is always a staple. The Yo Tiao, the Chinese fried dough. It is so good, I love it. It takes me back to my childhood. You could hear the crunchiness when I pulled it apart. Mm. I love how soft and fluffy they are, and airy, just crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, really hits the spot for you. Mm. I know people love American donuts. I'm taking the Chinese donuts all day long over the American donuts. They, they're a little bit greasier, they're fried, but man, it definitely, it hits the spot every time and I love it. Mm. Next up, we have the promotional pork soup dumplings that they give you if you have an order over $10 when you dine in. With the soup dumpling, what you need to do is you need to be very careful with it because it is delicate, filled with soup, filled with the pork ball. What you do is you poke a hole into it, suck out the soup, and then you also pour vinegar on it as well. So that's what I'm gonna do right here. I love the, the soup broth that does come in these soup dumplings. It's definitely on the salty, saltier side, but it is succulent, it's delicious. So you take this vinegar, you pour it into the ginger, take your dumpling, dip it in, and enjoy. Mm. So with that vinegar, you just have the sourness of it. The, the pork that's in that dumpling absorbs all the flavor of the sourness of the vinegar. Also, the saltiness of the soup broth that is, that is inside there. It is just a fantastic, Fantastic dumpling. What you're gonna notice with this food, a lot of it, is that it's very, it's uh, it's comfort food. You eat it and then you just, you got that warm feeling inside you. That's what this, the Shanghai Xiao Ma is gonna be. It is a rice wrap that's wrapped around rice. Has a nice little pea on top of it as well. Mmm, I love this. Here we go, cheers. The wrap, this, this one is a little bit more absorbed into the rice as opposed to the soup dumpling that we just had. So everything is very chewy, it's sticky. But the taste of it, it's just, uh, it's, it's salty. It's on the salty side. Not too salty, though. It's almost like they they cooked the rice or they doused it with a little bit of soy sauce. Next, we have the pork wonton. I think I have some of this first. I'm going to try some of the soup first. Here we go. There's a bit of a, more of a sour, bitter side. Got to be honest, that was an order of the director. Not too big of a fan of the broth on that. It's okay though, it's not for everybody. I normally would not order that. Still though, I can see why some people would like it. It's got a little bit more of a bland flavor to it. So when you are eating that, maybe that helps settle all the other flavors that you are happening. Gotta be honest with that broth really wasn't for me, but let's also try the dumplings that it came in. 
Oh, these guys are fat. Here we go. Cheers. The broth may have not been for me, but that wonton definitely was for me. That was fantastic. Very savory wonton. So even though the broth was, uh, the broth was bland, the saviness of that wonton when you bit into the pork, it was super, super tender, super juicy. Uh, the wrap once again just uh, adds another level of flavor to it that uh, you know a thin rice wrap would. So man, that's that that was really good. That hit the spot. I loved it. Now let's move on to the pan fried pork bun, which is another one of the dim sum items that we got. Here we go. Cheers. So we have a ton of pork on the table. This was the sweetest pork that I've had thus far. It was good. I really enjoyed the crunchiness of the uh, bottom of the fried bun. And then that wrap that the bun is, it's going to be much thicker and much more dense than the other wraps that we've had with the wonton, with the dumpling. This is far none really damn good i liked i mean we're at my favorite chinese restaurant and i know i'm saying everything is great everything i love everything except for that broth but still man this is everything that i've gotten so far here has just hit the spot i mentioned that this is comfort food uh the dim sum items are fantastic and this is no different you have the scallions on there as well which also bring out the uh brings out the other flavors of the uh, of the bun of the oil, of the pork that you had. So the pan fried pork bun is one that you might not want to skip when you do come to Shanghai U Garden. Next, we have the duck. I gotta say, the wrap looks great. Every time I come to a Chinese restaurant and I see these, I gotta be honest, it reminds me of a little mini taco. It's like a China's version of the taco. So here we go. Mm. The wrap that they always have with these duck buns always soft, always chewy, um, just a nice, delightful bite that you do take into the into the wrap. The duck had a, a few different textures. It was crunchy, also chewy, and then very tender on the inside. The outside was more of a, a, a charred end, so you did have the crunchiness, and the sweetness of the sauce that they put that duck in was just, uh, I don't want to say that it it uh, hit, the, hit the spot for, or it solved my sweet tooth problem. But man, of everything that we've had here so far, that was the sweetest of the sauce that they did have on that. So it was fantastic. And then lastly, we have the rice cake with shredded pork. This looks like it also has some cabbage on it with, a, with some carrots as well. Here we go. Now what a rice cake is, it's a little cake that's made out of rice. It's hearty, filling, tender, chewy, delicious that's not the chef's specialty menu with the rice cake i did mention that you have the, you have the chewiness you also have the crunchiness of the cabbage of of the carrots that adds a nice vegetable earthy flavor if you will to it and then the sweetness of that pork it's it's not too chewy it's tender pork is always also one of the juiciest meats that you can have so this is a juicy uh, a juicy entree that you you can get here what a fantastic way to spend my day here in Queens. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do because every time I come here, this place knocks it out of the park, which does make sense because if we step outside, we can see City Field right where the Mets play from here. So after that tremendous feast, before we hit the road, they actually give you some dessert on your way out the door. We have glutinous rice balls that comes with fermented rice, egg drops, as well as goji berry. Here we go. So this reminds me of a stickier oatmeal where you might put a dab of sugar on it and then swirl it in there because it's hearty, it's sweet, it's thick, and it's, it's very sticky, if you will. Hence, the sticky rice ball. Good way to end the meal. Well, folks, that concludes our day here in Flushing, Queens, and I'm really excited that I had the opportunity to show you my favorite Chinese restaurant, Shanghainese restaurant here in New York City because everything that I have here is absolutely delightful. I loved it. From the pan fried pork buns, my favorite, best I ever had. The soup dumpling, my favorite, best I ever had. The fried dough, my favorite, best I ever had. Even the soup wontons wasn't my favorite, 
but the, the director, that was actually her favorite thing that she had tonight. So there's something on here for everyone, people. And then on top of that, the menu here is expansive. I've been coming here for years and I still haven't eaten everything on the menu. And if you don't have time to sit down and eat, they also have takeout that you can get right here. So you could grab, go, hit the streets and get to where you gotta get while munch on some delicious Chinese food, or Shanghainese food. And from everyone over here at A Piece of New York, we just want to say, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. You enjoy the content, give us a subscribe. Hope you have a great day and a better week. Take it easy, y'all. Bye-bye.